Okay, go ahead and introduce yourself. Well, my name is Robert Alexander Dunkel, but you can just call me Bob. And I am the Family History Center leader for South Royalton, Vermont, which also happens to be the birthplace of the Prophet Joseph Smith, and also the Family History Leader in Rutland, Vermont, which is just west of here. I'm from Connecticut originally, moved to Vermont 17 years ago, and uh, never did family history work up until about four years ago. The short version is a talk by uh, uh, Elder uh, Boyd K. Packer, who said that he had had too many experiences of the kind of which we don't speak about lightly to believe that anybody's dead. And that's pretty much where I'm at with that. So I had a very distinct calling to, um, to do this work. It was determined that that's my new calling in life. So here I am. And I changed my degree program at BYU Idaho to genealogy and I just finished that last December. Well, this event is about connecting people with uh, uh, different aspects of family history work. So uh, Vermont State uh, Archives will be here. They'll be teaching people how to use their resources. There'll be family search leaders here who will help people connect with family search and how to use family search and answering any questions on family search. Well, family search is about connecting with your ancestors. Family search is about uniting families together forever and uh, getting to know your family so that you can recognize them at least when you see them when you pass through the veil or, or however that's going to play out. It's about learning about your family history and getting grounded and being able to uh, identify with your ancestors, their stories. Really, uh, people who understand their ancestry and understand what their families have gone through to get here are more grounded and, and understand that life is hard and it's not just hard for you, it's not just hard for me, but we have ancestors that came from across the sea, sometimes by themselves as teenagers, with just five bucks in the pocket, landing in New York and saying, okay, now what? So, um, yeah, it's about all of that. Whoa, that's a loaded question. <laughs> You're talking to a guy who, when he went to Idaho in 2020 in the fall and asked his mother if she wanted to go to the Family Search Center with her, she didn't recognize her son. So, <laughs> and, uh, so I, didn't ever, I didn't ever have any interest. I love history, but getting down dirty and doing the genealogy and really getting to know people wasn't my cup of tea. The blessings of being able to do that are really learning about my family and connecting with other members of the family in the process. I've learned important lessons about treating ancestors with respect. I've learned that uh, on the other side of the veil there's a whole society of people who are interested in what we're doing. They know about what we're doing and then they're also very willing to help us if we're willing to let them help us discover their story and to learn about them and I have lots of stories about that as well. The more I learn the more I want to learn. The more I find out about my family the more I love my family. Uh, <laughs> um, family history work has changed my life. I know uh, through the work that I'm doing that these people not only know me and love me, they desire that we do their work for them. Because we're willing to do that, our lives get blessed in ways we can't even imagine. You know, things get smoothed out a little bit. Things, you know, the rough edges get taken out. And I think because of that, I'm a richer person, not financially, but, <laughs> but spiritually, I'm much richer and I can feel the Lord's love and His appreciation for what I'm doing every day. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.